Greetings, members of the Midnight Film Society. I have a request here for some of the stuff Bela Lugosi did. You know, besides the Universal Dracula movies that everyone has seen. Well, you're in luck, people, because I have hours of material on that. Boring! You'll have to pardon Anamorphia. She stays cooped up too much in my film vaults. Cooped up? <laughs> it's lucky for you I'm here. Without me, you couldn't find anything. As I was saying, I have hours of good material, but, as you know, Dr. Film believes in completeness and context, so rather than cutting this up into a highlight reel, I'm going to show you these things as they originally appeared. And you expect anyone under 50 to know who Bela Lugosi was? Very well. If you feel I must explain, Bela Lugosi was born Bela Blasco in Hungary, where he worked under the name Aristid Olt. Pardon my Hungarian. After World War I, he came to Germany, where he made several films, most of which are lost. Then he made his way to the United States. His big break came in 1927, when he won the lead role in Dracula on Broadway. He repeated this role on screen in 1931, and was so good at it that he was typecast for the rest of his career. Tonight we'll get to see some of the other things that he did, but we'll also see that Dracula seemed to follow him wherever he went. This is an interesting little film that was done to capitalize on Paramount stars of the period. It was made in 1933 while Lugosi had left Universal to freelance. This was made at about the time that he was working at Paramount on International House with W.C. Fields. Note that even away from Universal, Lugosi is not able to shake the image of Dracula. Hear that music on the air Listen to your favorite pair Sing a song or dance for you In this televised review Each a movie king or queen Enthroned upon the silver screen Now watch that escapade In Hollywood on parade For Hollywood is on parade oh, But after all, it is great to be great enough To be made into a wax figure For the Hollywood Hall of Fame In this motion picture museum But um, just to uh, break the monotony And stuff And this being my day off How's about the uh, you and me uh, stepping out. Let's visit some of our old motion picture star friends. Hmm? Yes, sir. I could uh, go for her in a big way. I certainly could go for her in... But there's the obstacle. Her husband, Rex Bell, always by her side. Well, life is life just the same. Now, Clara, there's one thing I've always wanted to ask you. Have you got a light? Thank you. Say, Eddie, I thought you were a pal of mine. Well, Rex, I, th I thought so too. Well, why don't you find some other girl instead of my wife? Well, who would you suggest? Well, how about Betty Boop? The new little girl that uh, Max Fleischer uh, made. Well, if he can make her, I can go over and say hello. Real timers. Rex, you go away, you big bad man. Ooh. Now you know you know you don't mean that. So, you know you, you know Betty, honey. So, you know I like to hear you sing a song. Hear me sing? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll sing if you play piano for me. You will. Huh. Never dreaming 